casual, especially on screens right now. Got to be more aggressive, do a better job of contesting shots. Also, Michael Malone said before tonight's game, got to do a better job in transition and try and get out and run when we have the opportunity. They got four fast break points already of their number. really is. Yes. Jokic against Valanciunas. Rebound Jaron Jackson, who's trying to rebound from a rough go against the Utah Jazz. Jaron just nine points and seven boards. Fouled out. Morant to the rims. And the Grizzlies have the lead. Four gone by here in the first quarter. Barton with a fadeaway. And the rebound to Jaron. Grizzlies in that victory over Utah, a season low in points allowed. Also, they tied their season low with just 11 turnovers. High low, good find. Jaron, that was partially blocked, I think, by Millsap. Because this year, it almost looks to be almost lazier than just the normal plotting style of basketball that he played. Jaron on the attack, couldn't finish against Jokic. Mason Plumley missed almost half of last year with hip surgery. But we don't need any more reminding. Part. No. And Jaron stripped. Good hands by Gary Harris and Murray. Shout out. Anderson works against Harris on the baseline. Jaron steps to the three point line and drops it in. Grizzlies five of five from beyond. Here early. All threes are not created equal. Shot selection so important as Barton goes to work. And Jaron. I like the way Jaron has been big on the glass so far tonight. Not shying away from contact at all, even on the offensive end. Nice going, kid. Guterich for three. First Grizzlies miss. Thanks, man. Those the four guys on the floor with Monte Morris is a nice size at point position. See, they can take up a lot of space on the floor without even having to move. Brooks with a shovel to Jaron, and he is hand. Jackson trying to set the screen for Brooks. Jaron blocked by Porter, and there's that link, Brevin, you were talking. Their bench has been outstanding. Their bench averages fewer than 33 a game. They're up to 20 already. Here's Jaron for three. Bench area that was a, was a, but the biggest thing is the entire pace and tone of the game is solely in the Denver Nuggets fest. Their hands at this point. Yep. And then Jaron travels 12 straight. Murray has Barton on a wing. Millsap on the other wing. Millsap goes into his spin and Jaron commits the foul, his first. Championship team. Then this Memphis Grizzlies, these are teams that you have to beat on a regular basis. And these are the teams that you can't give confidence to early in games. And going to seven games against a very good Portland team, you have a Denver team that's saying, Brevin, why not us? And listen, with, with the cast of characters that they have, the continuity. And the thing about this team is they're fine with whoever has it rolling just to continue to let that person roll is knocked away there by Murray after Valentino's missed the short one. A lot of deflections for Denver. And they are not highly rated in that category, but boy, they have been so active defensively and a defensive three second call. Because Denver didn't come in particularly accurate shooting 27 in the NBA. Morant trying to go to work, nearly knocked away. Here's Jaron for three, puts it in. Jaron Jackson Jr. And double figures now with 11. Then you get to a point when you're playing, you know, with the back door cuts and say Jokic. Somebody had asked Steve Kerr, speaking about the Golden State Warriors, have you ever seen a team with this many injuries? And he said no. And uh, somebody on Twitter pointed out all that the Grizzlies have been through the last couple of years. Good contest by Dylan. Jaron has been hot from three. Good again! Third triple. Harris comes out on Jackson, who's hit three threes in the quarter. Shot clock down to five. Jones on the feed to Jackson. It's a mismatch against Harris, and Harris reaches in and bails out. His dad, Brendan, was an assistant in the bad boys era with the Pistons. Jaron, another three. Good again! Jackson. 